here in Chicago, Illinois to explore a few of its historic neighborhoods. I cannot wait to check out the live music, get a few craft cocktails, and check out some of the local brews. Let's go have some fun. We're in Logan Square in a very vibing and happening historical neighborhood full of coffee shops, art galleries. It's a great place to get craft brew and that's why we're at Revolution Brewing because to be honest with you, it's probably some of the best beer you're gonna get. Rose's Lounge opened in 1984 and it stays true to the tradition of Chicago blues lounges. Rose's Lounge is a great spot for both long-term blues lovers and new listeners. Walking up and down this block, you can see all kinds of cool art galleries, bookstores, award-winning restaurants. But when the sun goes down, this historical neighborhood has a totally different mystique altogether. Just south of Wicker Park in a Ukrainian village is a spot called Empty Bottle. On any given night, you can see punk, rock, jazz, pretty much the best indie music in Chicago. Man, that show at the Empty Bottle was incredible. At one point, the lead singer, she hugged me and I was like, come on in. I really felt that it was a great experience. Are you feeling it? I'm at the Green Mill, a cocktail lounge located in Chicago's historic Uptown. It's a few steps away from the Riviera Theater, right here on Broadway. This cocktail lounge is everything I thought it would be. It's got the vibe of the 20s, of course, but everybody is super friendly. Now get out there and eat, drink, and be merry in one of Chicago's super cool neighborhoods. Cheers.